uh, caravan. It's a 2005 caravan. So they're two months behind. So basically, what I have done was made some repairs to the uh, uh, to the O2 sensor circuit. <laughs> basically, man, I don't know why people still do this. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this wow. Spin out low bolts, spin out all kinds of crazy fault codes. And my favorite is uh, when a customer tell me, I just had that replaced. It's not about how long ago you replaced it, it's about the quality of parts that you're using. And this, my friend, I, I'm not gonna dog any aftermarket parts out. Now, and I, and I still say aftermarket parts are okay. If they are willing to give you some type of warranty on this stuff, then that means they put some thinking behind their, um, their when they built their parts. You know, they expect quality out of their parts. So, there's nothing wrong with aftermarket sensors, only if they offer warranties behind it. But this, my friend, was spinning out low voltage code, high voltage code, heater circuit, and I just simply uh, ended up replacing it with uh, OEM quality, OEM uh, O2 sensor, okay? This is the OEM, meaning Mopar. It was built for Mopar. It was built for this. It was built for this vehicle. Uh, the part number matches or whatever. So what I'm about to do, ladies and gentlemen, is go on a drive cycle. Okay, I go over that with y'all. All right, let's get with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am in the van, and wow, as you can see, 296. The camera acting crazy trying to pick it up. 296,000 miles. And I got the car pulled up on my scan too. Remember the DRB scan too I talked about? Let's go in the OBD2 monitors. What we're looking for, what we're going to be looking at is, uh, come on, baby, come on. What we're looking for is, uh, let's go in the car readiness status. Let's see how many we have to get. Okay, we have a total of four. All right, remember what I talked about last time? You need basically 75% to say yes to be ready okay so the easiest ones to do will be everything but the evap system leak that has to be ran on the overnight soak so if i were you i would concentrate on the o2 sensors the cat just the o2 sensor and the cat because the heaters are part of the o2 sensor all right so i can't film while i'm driving so i'm gonna go drive this and remember ladies and gentlemen what we're trying to do is get at least three of these to say yes now let me go over something real quick. Let's 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 pick um let's pick the cat. Uh, I'm gonna show you some pre what it's looking for before it even start testing. This remember I told you man it's all about parameters. Let's go in the cat pre-test and see exactly what is we'll be looking for. So I can try to get in this range. Okay, so to even start, I gotta be at a temperature range. Can y'all see that? I got to be of a temperature range of uh, 150 and 260. I'm there. Run time between 2 and 13 minutes. I'm there. Cat temperature, 900 between 900 and 1600. Not quite there, but I'm sure if I drive it, that cat will heat up quickly. Now, once those parameters are met, then you just look at this one. Do I see? I don't even know if y'all using scan tube, but basically let the car warm up, then go drive it. And as you can see, the range, RPM range they want you at is between 20 and 55 RPM. I mean, a uh, vehicle speed. And RPM, of course, they want you at a certain range. So it's all about parameters. All right, I'm going to try to get in these parameters because remember, my goal is to make at least three of these say yes. All right. And actually, my I, since i had the car running and this was an overnight soak my wow my leak detection has already ran i started this thing up right after i screwed the o2 sensor in outside so this was a cold soak so i might get lucky and all four show yes all right i'm about to go on the drive man i'll get back with y'all in a second let's get it and there you have it ladies and gentlemen as you can see this phone is flickering I have all monitors saying yes. Remember, the small leak evap purge system monitor will only run on an overnight cold soak. The only reason that was showing yes because I erased the code after I made the repair and then I started the car up 
and you can it'll run just sitting there idling first thing in the morning on an overnight soap cold so when I started it the monitor just automatically started running it has a couple of parameters it has to meet for instance it has to be it can't be be below a quarter tank of gas all right so all these monitors are yes this car is now ready for emissions all right so that's all I have man thanks for watching comment subscribe and I'll see y'all on the next video.